Hello and welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. My name is Todd Taylor. I'm the Battalion Chief for the Wayne Township Fire Department. In last month's segment, we talked about three simple ways of freeing a driver from a possible entrapment behind the steering wheel. Lowering the seat, cutting the spokes on the steering wheel, and tilting the steering wheel. In this month's segment, we're going to pull the steering column using the hydraulic spreaders, a chain, and a 6x6. It's a very technical move and there are several steps involved in getting it right. The vehicle has been stabilized. Once the vehicle is stabilized, we get a rescuer up to a point where he can get the cribbing in order to put it against a high point and a low point on the cab. We're going to use a pair of hydraulic spreaders in order to make the pull on the steering column. This gives us the fulcrum point that we need. The rescuers enter into the vehicle. They're going to wrap the chain and the cribbing, the four by six or six by six that we have used. It's only need to wrap the steering column one time. There's no need to wrap it several times. Once the chain is in place, the rescuer is going to hook it, make sure he gaps it for the spreader. The spreader is going to tighten. Once the spreader applies tension, then the rescuer inside the bus can back out of the way. As that chain pulls tight, you're going to see the column move. There will be some dash deflection down. Again, we're only hoping to get a few inches of pull out of the steering wheel. You can exaggerate it in training, but in a real scenario, there's only a need to move it a few inches. In this segment, we use the powered hydraulic spreaders and a chain to pull the steering column. It's important to remember that this cannot be done on a tilt steering wheel or a split column. There are several other ways to get the wheel out of the way for that. Thanks for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. Thank you to Almatro for sponsoring this. My name's Todd Taylor.